Right, so now that we've got uh, our template uh, working, uh, outputting 5, and we can go ahead and, uh, and duplicate that template uh, to create these other. Uh, this is going to be our home page. We want to have our commitment, organic vegetables, and contact us. Uh, so we need to <coughs> make some templates for that. Back here in our organic farm skin, still got a bit to clean up. Uh, organic farm index. Save that as uh, our, our commitment. M -E -I -T -M -E -T. Okay. Yes, actually, that probably should have had a hyphen in there. We'll go see whether that comes out or not. Okay, that comes out there. Uh, perhaps we want a hyphen in there, depending on how you want your uh, uh, your URLs. I think that's uh, probably a better one. So our commitment, shift F6 refactor. We'll put it like this instead. I think that's generally accepted as a better way to do it. There we go. So there's our commitment there. Save that one again as uh, organic organic vegetables. Yes, yes, and contact us. Okay, so we should have all of those there now. Just need to link up our menu so it knows which ones are supposed to be on at which point in time. Back to our home page. Yep. Alt. Right. So that we can tell everything apart. Again, get rid of the cache. Okay, so we've got contact us. Organic vegetables. Okay, our commitment. And home. Oh, but no links in there yet. Okay, uh, so we've got those four pages there. Now let's get them joined up. Uh, what we can do here is uh, assign a variable uh, to be, uh, since our, our menu is in our header, uh, we, that's where we want to uh, to tell it to be on. And the uh, page calls. Us. Right, and in our header template, uh, we can surround these. 
uh, hopefully we've got an on thing provided by our our CSS to tell us this is on not just a hover take a look okay it doesn't look like it has we'll have to make one right class so oh dear okay this isn't how I would have done it um, but everyone programs differently so uh, let's go if page equals uh, there we go so we're going to add this class menu active if the page is index for that one if the page is if the page is min our commitment, add that there, add a class there and add a class there. Make sure there's a space. So we know what uh, that look. Take a look there. See if it came out. Looks like it didn't, but it got a space there, so it seems like it's trying to do it. Uh, so. It'll Throw your bug in there. Where did our page go? Oh, I closed it. Not clever. I got our debug out there. like that isn't coming out there. Why isn't that coming out there? Might need to pass it in. Hmm. Okay, I'm sure some of you noticed my mistake there. And this shouldn't have been equals equals because that's a comparison operator. It should have just been page equals to assign page to index. So that shouldn't be equals equals because that's checking for it. Uh, that's assigning it. There we go. That's better. Now in our debug console, we do have the page, and it is coming out as index. And then we should have that on our menu item too. There we go. Uh, so class equals home menu active, and if we add a class for menu active, uh, add rule. background color red. okay so it's just that one there this what have we got there 
Oh, we're using image overlays, not CSS for this. Uh, so you could, you'd have to go in there and make a, uh, a new uh, hover thing. And we've already got the hover there. Let's keep that there. Menu home, a hover. Okay, that took some fiddling to get working, but uh, but we've got uh, all of the uh, uh, the green label is active on the page that we're actually active on. So when we're on organic vegetables, uh, organic vegetables shows as being on. When we're on our commitment, our commitment showed as being on, and when we're on our home, home shows as being active too. What needed to be done there was uh, uh, adding this very long, uh, sp very specific uh, CSS uh, command for uh, for each of the menu items. It would have been nice if that had been a uh, uh, one specific, uh, uh, just add active to them to have them uh, uh, come up as active. Uh, but uh, this uh, template's a little bit more complex than that. It uses background images. Uh, to color in the background over here rather than just a, uh, a CSS uh, tag. Uh, no matter, it's working now, so we need to connect up the links. Back in our header, uh, and we haven't got a link to it, so we want to always use uh, this one, jam room URL. That'll give us the base directory for our, uh, our jam room site, slash and nothing for home because that's exactly where we are. So there, same one for this one, slash our, our commitment, that one. Organic reach. And TPL just contact us. And that should have fixed up our links. Yeah, okay, it's good. It is. Change to our commitment. Change to organic vegetables. Change to contact us. Okay, it's starting to take shape. Uh, so then from there you'd go in and you'd change the uh, uh, the tables to uh, to whatever you wanted on those pages. Uh, our commitment, perhaps. Uh, uh, an example of all the different kinds of vegetables that uh, that have been sold in the past. Um, organic vegetables, perhaps that's the, uh, the the latest things for sale or on stock or in season. Um, so you just go and add the pages that you need to do. Same with subscribe to CSS uh, to RSS. Uh, you can go in there and create an RSS uh, just the exact same way. Um, if there isn't a module to do it for you already, uh, just create templates to to feed what you need to feed. All right, but one thing we haven't got right now uh, is the uh, uh, the profiles set up. So if we go back to our home page and click on to go to any one of these profiles, uh, close that down. Off we go to the profile. We, we're heading off here to pickles and stuff, uh, but it says there's no profile index in there. Uh, so let's look at that next. <coughs> 